Hello everybody. Today we're going to work on the gear lag fairings. So I taped this actually a few months ago. Uh, it was just uh, the first week of this year. And we started working on the gear lag fairings. The reason why I didn't caught up yet is because I'm, well, very busy building. Uh, that's one. And also, I didn't just take that much time doing all the processing for the video. Anyway, we were uh, working here on the gear lag fairings. So you would think that maybe the gear legs don't really need a fairing because they are just, well, they're not that big, right? They're round uh, legs. Uh, but they say that actually these round legs have a lot of um, drag. They have a lot of, uh, they, they, they produce a lot of drag. So if you put the fairing around it, it will, well, really uh, reduce the drag significantly. Uh, to me that still looks strange because uh, well they don't look, look like they have a lot of drag if you look at the rest of the plane but hey I'm a software guy right so I don't know shit about uh, airflow so uh, I'll, I'll just believe it um, the gear legs are attached to the, um, the the fairings are attached to the gear leg with well two ways actually on, on uh, uh, they are wrapped around the leg and then in the back there is a piano hinge so you can also remove them later um, uh, so that that's one way to attach it but then it can still twist around the leg so on top of it there is a, a normal hose clamp clamp and the hose clamp keeps it in the correct position and the position is actually very important because if you wouldn't position it very well uh, then it would well first of all give a lot of drag uh, and by that, because it, you have drag specifically on one side, it would it would get a yaw. You would you would get a kind of a yaw on the plane, uh, which would be very uh, a nuisance during flight. Although I do think that you could maybe, if you have a let's say a jaw anyway, <laughs> maybe you could counter counter jaw that. So maybe if you have a jaw to the right, then maybe you can do something that it would counterbalance that but I, I'm not sure anyway it was very hard to get the, um, the piano inch in because we made it maybe too tight I'm not sure in, in hindsight maybe we made it too tight because it was very hard to get the um, the hinge pin in there uh, so what we did is um, again I took my uh, let's say uh, El Cheapo um, and the endoscope put it on the old laptop and uh, we could follow inside with the endoscope in the uh, in the fairing to see where the hinge pin is and where the problem is where you have to push because what we did is one uh, person my dad mostly does the pushing the pin up and I push on the uh, gear like fairing the uh, to um, uh, to push them together and we can follow that on the uh, endoscope on the, on the screen so that worked as you can see we also use a heat gun because it makes it a little bit more let's say flexible and that combination of um, of both using the endoscope, the heat gun, and pushing actually worked. I think here we still removed it again, uh, and we uh, we put some grease in there, as you can see, because even um, yeah without the grease, it, we still couldn't get high enough, and it still didn't work. So I think this was probably the last time we tried it. <coughs> so we had grease up there, and we had. Uh, the camera and yeah well that actually worked now the pin shouldn't go out right I mean so on the, on the bottom because the the end is on the bottom you have to uh, use some safety wire to to guard it and protect it from from getting out but I don't think it would ever get out even without safety wire however you, of course we use safety wire there and there you can see that we um, we uh, tighten up the hose clamp and that way yeah it won't, uh, it won't twist so earlier we measured um, the exact position of the gear leg fairing uh, by making uh, the distances uh, to the uh, center of the plane uh, the same and we made small marks on the um, on the gear leg and also on the fairing so now we only have to get the marks straight right so it looks like we don't measure it but actually we did it earlier 
and now we just have to get the marks right and, uh, and that's easier than doing the measuring while you're attaching it uh, the left one went easier because um, well we knew how to do it uh, so we know how to use the heat gun and we know uh, that we use oil and uh, so that, that, that went a lot, a lot easier um, so that was okay uh, next thing we need to do is um, uh, make the, the fairings of the, the gear legs to both the wheel pans uh, that you can see there in the back uh, the, the grey um, helmet like things that go around the wheels uh, of course that won't fit with the gear legs fairing so we have to make a kind of an, uh, uh, cr crossover fairing for there and also later to the uh, from the gear leg fairing to the uh, to the cowl we also need a crossover there but we'll we'll do that later uh, not sure what we're working on right now it's a little off camera sorry for that uh, I guess we are working on the brakes, but I'm not sure. I mean, the brakes are already there, uh, but maybe we had to modify something. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, the gear like fairings are in place. They are, I hope, uh, correctly positioned. I mean, we did all the measuring, but <coughs> well, we'll see that later. Uh, yeah, and we can always uh, change the, the hose clamp and reposition it a little bit if uh, if it's not cor correct okay continuing building my pie in the sky